All right, guys. So today we are going to be uh, breaking down the latest data download that we got on Global a few hours ago. And as always, before we jump in, I want to give a shout out to my boy Proton at TanMG on Twitter for posting all the assets. If you guys aren't already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. And with that said, let's scroll down a little bit here and start with the new Super Battleroid stage, which is stage 62, Artificial Life Forms Only. And that's going to be dropping on November 11th at 6.30 a.m. GMT, or I believe that's 2.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Or maybe because we went back an hour, it's going to be 1.30 a.m., I think. I could be wrong, but I believe it's actually 1.30 a.m. Eastern. But uh, don't hold me to that. Anyways, uh, that's the new Super Battle stage. And then we have the uh, Int Angel Golden Frieza Extreme Z Awakening slash Extreme Z Battle Assets, which are also dropping at uh, 6.30 a.m. GMT on the 11th. So we have the uh, event logo. We have some other assets related to the Extreme Z Battle event, as you can see. And then we have the Extreme Z Awakening Medals as well for the Int Angel Golden Frieza. And after that, we have some assets for the 15th Pets on Battle. Here is the Series 7 and 8 uh, sticker pack, along with a new Extreme Z Dokkan Festival ticket, of course, for the Int Angel Golden Frieza. Uh, Extreme Z Battle banner. And finally, we have an update to the promo movie thumbnail for the Int Gods. Um, I think this is a side by side comparison of the before and after. And honestly, it looks identical to me, except for the fact that it says movie here and video here. So Maybe that's what they changed, or is there something else? I'm not sure. I can't really tell right now. I mean, the actual image looks the same. It's just the fact that one says movie and one says video. So yeah, um, that was an update as well. And aside from that, apparently there was nothing else. It was a very minor, basic uh, data download for some of the events we're getting within 24 hours, so there you have it. And uh, real quick, before we go, for the people that missed my, uh, oh, actually, I almost forgot about this. <laughs> Not gonna lie, almost forgot about this. So, uh, global update 5.7.1 is coming very soon. There's gonna be two, uh, I would say major, but they're like not that huge, but two moderate, uh, updates coming with this. So the first one is optimizing the display of characters who can be awakened. Under the Awaken tab of the character growth page, a character's icon will be applied with a special effect. If you have collected all the awakening medals required to Dokkan Awaken or Extreme Sea Awaken the character. So basically, there's going to be this like little circle flashing thing over a character who, you know, has the awakening medals to be uh, Dokkan Awakened or Extreme Z Awakened. Okay, so that's a kind of visual thing. And then there's also an optimization of the recommendation mechanism of friend supporters. So uh, it says the recommendation mechanism of friend supporters will be optimized. After the optimization, friend supporters labeled with guest may also be selected from teams that are recorded in the clear record of the stage. So essentially, it's not really a fix to the friend system. Uh, the friend system still needs a lot of work. Um, this is maybe a step in the right direction, but we're still far from where the friend system or the, you know, just like available options um, should be, you know? So uh, yeah, that is the update. Nothing too major. Like I said, more of a quality of life update and also of course some uh, bug fixes as well. So that's update 5.7.1. And the last thing I wanted to do is just quickly go over the Extreme Z Awakening details for the Int Angel Golden Frieza. For those of you that missed my uh, breakdown video a few days ago. And uh, you know, give you an idea of why a lot of people consider him to be one of the worst Dokkan Fest Extreme Z Awakenings uh, of the recent past. So. 
Uh, starting with his leader skill, we're just going to go with the easy A details and not bother with the pre-easy A details. But basically, with the Extremes Awakening, leader skill is going to be Resurrected Warriors, Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 170%, or Int Types Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 120%. Super Attack greatly raises defense. For one turn, it causes immense damage and greatly lowers defense. And passive is attack plus 250% and defense plus 150%. All enemies attack minus 15% plus an additional attack minus 7% for super class enemies and allies. And then plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% when facing a super class enemy. Attacks effective against all types when there is another reps of universe 7 category ally attacking in the same turn. So... A decent amount of attack and defense, especially if you're facing super class uh, enemies, and then you do have this debuff of enemies attack, but you still have a debuff of super class allies as well. So that's kind of rough. I mean, obviously, if you're running like a wicked bloodline team with no super types, then it's fine, doesn't really matter. But if you want to run him on like, you know, tournament of power, or sorry, uh, Universe Survival Saga or Repsu 7, um, you know, there's a decent chance that, like, you will have at least a few uh, super type allies, and it's just kind of annoying that, you know, they're gonna get debuffed by this guy. Um, I just feel like this should not be a thing, and uh, overall, you know, he gets, like, some de decent defense, but it's not really enough for, you know, tanking attacks in harder events, and his damage is fine but nothing crazy so like all around he's not like the worst unit but he's just kind of mid yeah i think that's a perfect way to describe him he's very very mid and you know people just had higher hopes for him he's a uh, pretty underpowered compared to like some of the more recent extremes awakenings so that's why it's just not a lot of hype for this guy but um, you know, as a whole, like, he's still going to be very usable, especially compared to what he was before, which is very not usable. As you can see, his passive was just attack plus 150, defense plus 50, and then the debuff of uh, superclass and allies and enemies, minus 15%. So, definitely a massive, massive improvement, but not quite good enough, in my opinion. So... There you have it, that is the Angel Golden Frieza Extreme Z Awakening. Uh, we got the update, 5.7.1. And finally, uh, all the other stuff we talked about. So, um, before we go, once again, shout out to Proton10MG on Twitter. Make sure to go follow him, get him to 6k followers as soon as possible. And uh, that's all I gotta say, guys. I'm really tired. I've been playing God of War for some time now. It's awesome. Make sure to tune into the streams if you can. And uh, thank you for watching, guys. As always, if you like today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.